really excited about this interview. So much so that Amy and I were texting about Coach Monica coming on today, which mm-hmm. we don't often talk about the show in our personal life. Uh, she's currently the coach of the elite co-ed cheerleading team at Navarro College in Corsicana, Texas. Coach Monica is on from Cheer yeah. and Netflix. Hey, good, good morning. Good morning. We are super pumped you're on the show, so thanks for taking a few minutes with us. Of course. You know, I wonder... When I'm watching the show, I don't know anything about cheerleading at all. And I was like, I don't know. It popped up on the left side of my screen. And I was like, what is this show? And I thought, I'm going to give it a half an episode. And then I was just hooked and know nothing about cheerleading and knew nothing. I've been to Corsicana. I didn't know that, that this was even a thing here. And so <laughs> how do they approach you to do this show initially? Well, um, I was contacted back in 2017 from some of the producers of Last Chance You. So I don't know if you've seen that or not on Netflix, but it's um, about junior college football. And um, they were kind of playing around the idea of doing a show about cheerleading in the same style that they do Last Chance You. And that we were one of the schools that they were looking at. So that led to a few phone calls, some conference calls with our athletic director and marketing team and their producers, which then led to them coming out in the spring of 2018 to film us for a couple of days to just see if they were a good fit for us and we were a good fit for them. And then it just proceeded from there. And, um, you know, we worked out a deal, and they came in last year and filmed us um, when we were preparing for our competition. And as they're there filming, did you think, man, this is going to be really something big, or were you just going, I don't know what this is going to be? Well, I, mean, I had seen Last Chance You, which is a really good show, just the way they produced it. Um, but I, of course, thought it would not, not even be as big as that just because it's, you know, cheerleading, and I figured it would really be more popular just in the cheerleading community. I didn't think that um, it would be like this at all. <laughs> so your life is 180, right, since <clears throat> January? Uh, yes, and, and, and we weren't prepared for this, so we're just kind of – learning you know as we go we're and right now we're just trying to really honestly keep our head above water and survive so is it hard to actually do what you're paid to do and coach and also be famous and promote cheer on netflix at the same time (laughs) well um the good thing is we kind of felt like we were a little bit ahead before we left for christmas break on some of the things that we need to have ready for um competition season so um we did take a week off when we went to L.A. for the Ellen show. And then we took a couple of days off for New York. But, uh, and you know, in some some years that could have been a problem just because of, of the things that we need to accomplish each week. Each week. But since we were a little bit ahead, um, you know, I feel like we're still right on track. We're learning our new routine this week. So, and we have a very good work ethic. So we know, you know, with our schedule, I know what kind of goals should, we should be hitting each week. And if we're not hitting those, then we just add extra practices in. So oh, wow. I think we'll be fine. Would you ever say, all right, no more cameras because we're not getting our work done. So let, let's put the cameras <laughs> away. No, I mean, you know, when they came in last year, you know, we were a little bit nervous, I think, the first couple of days just because, you know, we were being filmed. But quickly, you know, especially because we were just focused on competition and getting ready and, and stuff. And, um, you know, it – they really were not a distraction at all, and they, the, the film crew, became we became really close with them. They became like our family, and they were our biggest cheerleaders. They would get excited when, you know, we would hit the routine and stuff. So um, they weren't a distraction at all. So, Coach Monica from Cheer on Netflix is on with us right now. My question is, just knowing how sports work at, in, uh, at junior college level, how are some of these kids doing three years? Well, for... So for cheerleading, we don't fall under, you know, NJCAA rules for sports because we're not technically considered a sport. So we fall fall, fall under, um, you know, the cheerleading rules. And you have five years of eligibility to compete in cheerleading, and three of those can be at the junior college level. So you have three years of eligibility in cheerleading to compete. I'm thinking they may change the rule after this show. Like, it's such a big pop culture deal. This may right. actually change cheerleading because it is a sport. Like, you watch this show. If you don't come away from watching this show going, this is a sport, then I don't think you watch the right show. I think you yeah. probably <laughs> accidentally saw something else. Amy, what would you like yeah. to ask her? Well, like, it got into the stories. And like you said, like, Last Chance you, you, you watch it and you're, these kids have these stories and these backgrounds and stuff you would never know. Like, I feel like I'd be watching these cheerleaders out there smiling and flipping and doing their thing and that they just are on top of the world. 
but they come from some hard stuff and the show got into that and their backgrounds and they would visit their hometowns. Like, is there anything you learned about your team, like your kids that, that you didn't know that you were, you were surprised by, or were you already dialed in? Um, you know, usually, usually we're pretty dialed in and, and we know, I mean, I did get some, you know, I, it was emotional for me to watch just because there were details that I didn't know, but I knew, you know, kind of the bulk of it. I just, it got really intimate in some of those conversations and, um, so, you know, it got a little bit deeper than, than what I do know, but, you know, we, we're like a big family. So, you know, I'm really close to these kids and I knew their stories and, you know, that this is nothing new. I mean, we have these kind of kids come in every year and which is, you know, one of the reasons that I'm still here, it just, I feel like that's my calling and that's what, you know, makes me feel accomplished is to see them, you know, successful. Mm, love are, that. are people coming to Corsicana now because of the show? Like, are you seeing a tourist <laughs> <Yeah>. boom? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have, we have definitely, like I said, we're learning as we go, so we just kind of have to figure it out. But, you know, we have people coming, just like last night we had a basketball game, and, and uh, someone came up and, uh, to speak to me that, was, that does a commute to school to Dallas from Waco, and she stopped by specifically just to see us and uh, see if I was there. But, and we have people, we've had to kind of, we always have had closed practices, but we have so many people come in every day to try to come and see us. And so we kind of just had to put out a blanket statement that, you know, unfortunately we can't make ourselves available every day because we are in the middle of competition season and we just don't have the time to, like, stop practice for five minutes here and ten minutes there. So, um, yeah, it's definitely – I see lots of people – uh, on social media posting pictures in front of the gym that we go to at night and the college or different places downtown. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. I, I've learned a lot of new words. I'd like to share some of the words I've learned. Right? Okay. <laughs> I've learned on mat. Mm, uh -huh. yeah. I've mm -hmm. learned full and full out, which are two different things I've learned. <laughs> uh, a basket, not just something you keep a sandwich in. Like no. a, a cradle. Matt talk, yes. which how mm -hmm. Matt talk is I watch Jerry do Matt talk. So good. And <laughs> how important is Matt talk when they're pumping each other up from the side of the mat? Oh, I mean, Matt talk is so important. It's and it's not even just on the side of the mat. It's the people on the mat, too. I mean, that is the only way that that they can make it. You know, it, it seems like, oh, two minutes, 15 seconds. That's not that big a deal. But it's it's like running as fast as you can for two minutes and 15 seconds, you know, cardio wise. It's an, and it's hard to do. And so to be able to just mentally push yourself, because we can train physically to get ourselves there, but, you know, mentally to do that day in and day out, you know, it just takes that energy from the mat talk that it just puts you to that next level. It's so important. I'm going to end with this, uh, with, with cheer season two. What do we know? Is it happening? Come on, coach Monica, give us something here. <laughs> You know, we don't we don't really know anything right now. We're just excited about season one, so we're just happy to be here. Well, I'll, if I could offer a bit of mentorship, because I'm a mentor in American Idol, so I'd like to mentor Monica now. I would say, Monica, hold out for a million an episode. Wow. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Wow, wow. You heard it from me first, Monica. That's right. Hold out. <laughs> I will. Um, I, listen, all seriousness, I, um, I, I think the show is so good. I did not expect to love it. And I do, and I love what you stand for and your work ethic and just uh, th the way you have such a, a, um, a tough love but also a love relationship with the kids, and there are two different ways, and, and you're able to exhibit both of those. And so I really admire you for how you're running that team and all your championships and outside of the show. It's just such a, such a great story. So thank you for, for being on the show, and, and good luck next season. And good luck. You're now super famous. It's, cra it's, it's, a, it's crazy. It's I know. Awesome. Can your, what does your husband think? Uh, I mean, we just can't believe it. I mean, uh, like I said, we were not expecting this at all. I mean, we, you know, we've we've had a name in the cheerleading world for a long time, so I'm used to that. But this is a completely different level, and so, I mean, it's fun. We're trying to enjoy the ride as, <laughs> as long as we can. But, you know, like I said, it's hard because we are also working on that. I mean, I'm, we're doing like 13-hour days here, so it's a little exhausting. But you know, we're pushing through. Well, we're going to let you go. We're going to do a full out here, yeah. a, a radio full out when we yes, hang up on you. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, we're going to go hard. Uh, Monica, thank you, and I don't know what we can ever do for you, but if there's ever anything, let us know, okay? For sure. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right, there she is. Coach Monica <laughs> from Cheer on Netflix. Bye, Monica. It's about the show. Hey.